As the crisis at the border continues, Montgomery County is getting ready for some of those unaccompanied children to end up here, either through refugee resettlement programs or reuniting with family members. WSA 9's Colby Satterfield has been following this for us today. So, Colby, just how many unaccompanied kids are in U.S. custody right now? Roughly 34,000, Adam, have come to the U.S. and Mexico border since Mexico. Montgomery County leaders say Montgomery County is one of the top 10 receiving sites for some of these children to come to, which is why they are urgently preparing now for some of these kids to come here. The crisis at the border has made its way to Montgomery County as officials urgently focus on building a pathway now for children who may be calling the county home in the future. And we in Montgomery County are actually one of the primary destination areas, and that's not just because we're compassionate. It's because this is where their families live. Montgomery County has historically seen a high number of children being placed there, ending up with family members or sponsors. County officials say from October to February, 432 children have been placed in the region. They expect those numbers to climb drastically. But given our history and given what we're seeing at the border, we know that, that the numbers are going to continue to rise and continue to mount to Montgomery County. Down at the border, it has turned into a crisis with a rising number of children in Border Patrol custody and the government scrambling to find housing for them as poverty and violence make conditions more desperate in some Central American countries. Families are making a really tough decision about whether or not to send their children on precarious journeys to travel to the United States to escape death. Uh, what almost as certain death in many cases being forced into gangs or being killed by gangs. The county focused today on measures to meet children where they're at once they get here, such as ensuring a smooth handoff with government authorities, training school staff to accommodate them, and protecting the children against discrimination and bias, all while making sure resources are available to integrate them into the fabric of their new community, with an expected 3,000 children soon calling Montgomery County home. Something else that was pointed out today is where the majority of these unaccompanied migrant children are coming from. The majority are coming from Guatemala, Honduras and El Salvador, all of which are dealing with some of the worst violence in the world. I'm live in Montgomery County, Colby Satterfield, WUSA 9. Yeah, there's certainly a big job that lies ahead for the families taking those kids for our community leaders and friends and family as well. Colby, thanks.